Hey folks, it's Masterpiece, and today I'm going to be reviewing Admiral Piet in the Vintage Collection series. I was super psyched when they uh, announced this release. I really think we need like an updated body mold of the officer, Imperial officer, and they chose a perfect time and the perfect character to uh, make in the Vintage Collection line. We've had Admiral Piet's in the past, I believe, in the three and three quarter inch line, but it's been so long and it's time for a new body mold. So this was obviously for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. So it's one of those releases. The card back image is amazing. You have the Death Star, second Death Star there in the background. There's a figure comes with his uh, blaster pistol. This is a great card back image. This is VC 270. The rest of the action figures that they're deciding to promote in this case. Other jibber jabber on the bottom. All right, so I'm really excited about this release. Here he is, Piet. Amazing figure, amazing looking figure. You know what this means, guys. This means that we could finally get Director Krennic, we could get uh, new uh, Tarkin, we could get any kind of officer in the Vintage Collection line, and they could use this exact same mold. Let's check out the articulation. Rocker ankles, we love that. Basic articulation there at the knee. And this is on the barbell hip with a uh, thigh swivel. How much, what more would you want, right? That's amazing. An officer with this kind of articulation is the best thing since I don't know, they first introduced uh, the barbell hips. The articulation in the waist is good. Swivel, and you can do some crunches. Arm, elbow. There's wrist articulation the articulation on Piet's head you can look up down his hat is removable that's awesome so this is kind of like a soft Gummy plastic, very flexible, but it's not too bad. It's it's how it should be. You can rest it on its head, and it fits perfectly. Man, I really want them to do a Krennic already. Just reviewing this action figure, seeing how it looks, the articulation. A Krennic would be amazing with the white instead of the green here. That's awesome. He doesn't come with the holster for his blaster. Uh, which is fine because he... I, I don't think I've ever really seen him with a blaster in the movies. But his blaster fits perfectly in his hands. We'll pose him up.
So let me tell you, this figure is amazing. Posing any type of dynamic pose that you want with this figure is super easy. Hasbro went all out with this action figure and when they didn't even have to, honestly, giving him the barbell uh, hip joints was amazing, chef's kiss. But this figure with the card back for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi, this was probably one of the best ones uh, up there with the, the uh, Dark Times Vader. They're going to be re-releasing Darth Vader for the Return of the Jedi 40th anniversary, which is using the same mold as the Dark Times one. So just look out for that release. I know a lot of people that are going to be getting multiple copies of that uh, Darth Vader. So this one is a great, great figure. I'm really glad that uh, they released Admiral Piet. We needed a new officer body mold, so this was a welcomed release. Anyways guys, uh, I have more to review, so you'll be getting uh, reviews from my channel uh, for the next two or three days, if not more, but loads of content coming up, so uh, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. Don't forget to ring the bell notification so that you get notified every time I release new videos. Give this video a like, comment, all that good stuff. Share with a friend. Um, I'm trying to get my my channel out there. Uh, do all kinds of stuff with the Vintage Collection, Black Series, Hot Toys. So, yeah. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.